Hi new builders, my name's Chris and in this video I'm going to be making a subform object relating to a table in the back end of our database. For more advanced help visit forums.newbuilder.com or check out our other videos in this series. So what I've done is I've gone into the back end of our database and created a table called invoice item. I put in a column for the primary key, a column for the foreign key that will pull the primary key from our previously created invoice table. We'll also make columns for description, units, unit cost, and total. Once that's saved, I'm going to add an index to the foreign key column. Going back into New Builder in the Objects button, we'll create the subform in the invoice form. It will display on the invoice form with the subform type. We're going to call the field name item SF. Copy the tab name for us which is main and make the box the right size. Then in the subform tab we're going to put some SQL to grab the primary key from the invoice table and put it into the foreign key we made. Filling the info in in the side as well with the names that match the table we created at the start of the video. Now we've saved that, we can see the subform has been created within the invoice form. As you can see we need to adjust the height of the subform that it better fits on the form so double click the name and we'll adjust the values as we need to. Lastly we need to put the columns in the subform to relate to the columns we created in our invoice item table. Going back into the objects button we'll clone any of the objects. We'll create a description column. Then we can clone that and make a units column. We'll align it to the right We'll make it a little bit narrower as well. Then we'll clone that and make a column for unit costs and total object too. So once those are saved, we'll sort the rows from highest to lowest in order we want. Now all we need to do is just go back into the invoice section and we can see that everything is working the way it should. Thanks for watching, don't forget you can go to forums.newbuilder.com for further help and tips.